In this video will show you how to solve a force problem. So the force problem we're going to look at is a woman stands on a scale in a moving elevator. Her mass is 60.0 kilograms and the combined mass of the elevator and scale is an additional 815 kilograms. Starting from rest, the elevator accelerates upwards. During the acceleration, the hoisting cable applies a force of 9,410 newtons. What does the scale read during the acceleration? So we will want to consider sort of two um, two different things. We'll want to be looking at a free body diagram for the elevator. So if we look for the entire elevator, we have the force of gravity and we have the tension, the force of tension. We've been told, and this is in the hoisting cable, it's that piece, we've been told that that's 410 newtons and we know that the force of gravity, or its weight, is going to be m times g Note that we're going to use the total mass, so 875 kilograms times our 10 meters per second squared, or we have that the weight of the object is 8,750 newtons. So this is for the elevator. Now if we look at the person, we have some weight, which is our 60 times 10 or 600 newtons and then there's some normal force acting on the person and that is what we're looking for okay so we're ultimately looking for the normal force acting on the person we know information about the elevator um, we know quite a bit of information about the elevator we've got this free body diagram with a missing force here we note that if I was able to sum the forces, it should be equal to the mass times the acceleration, or my normal force minus my weight is equal to ma, or my normal force is equal to ma plus the force of gravity. Now, I know the weight. If I knew the acceleration, if I knew that piece, I would be able to solve for the normal force. Um, we look over on this side and we say, oh, I've got the forces acting on the elevator. I should be able to solve for the acceleration and then use it over here. So we have the net force acting on the elevator is our Ft minus Fg, and that equals Ma. Um, so we get the 9,410 newtons minus this is equal to the mass times acceleration, or 660 newtons equals um, equals our 875 times A. So A ends up being 660 newtons over the 875, and then we can plug that in over there. Okay, so we get that this acceleration is 0 0.754 meters per second squared and we can plug it into our equation over here so we get our 60 kilograms times 0.754 plus our 600 newtons and that gives us a total of 645 newtons. So in the end, we we'll check our sig figs, all of the things had three significant figures. So in the end, the scale would read, or her normal force would be, 645 newtons. So if we think about the general approach to solving this, we've set up free body diagrams, written down the information that we know, and then tried to create force equations to help us solve. We started out with the person because that's what we were interested in, recognized that we were missing an acceleration, and then by looking at the elevator and that given information recognized we could find the acceleration. And that's it for this problem. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.